Welcome back to Commentary. I am Ari and I will never admit that this is my intro now. Uh, but we are playing Taylor Tales today. Chapter 13 of Grey, actually. Um, and yeah, I just woke up and uh, let's do this. <laughs> I hope my brain is already ready for this, but I was so hyped, like, after the last chapter, last chapter was really nice. I mean, not with the break-in and all, but it was good. Um, but, like, how it ended, I want to see more. Definitely. Especially after what Grey said, like, come on. Ouch! I cry out as I prick myself with the end of the sewing needle, frowning at the injury. A drop of ruby blood bubbles on my fingertip, though I know it serves me right for not concentrating on what I was doing. Setting aside the garment I'm working on, I grab a tissue and hold it around my finger, stemming the, fl uh, the flower of blood. I need to be more careful. Smearing blood on a client's new dress isn't exactly the best way to promote a business. With a small sigh, I decide it won't hurt if I finish up a little earlier today. If you're a seamstress, shouldn't you have like these, um, I don't know what they're called in English, but these like little hats for your fingertips so that exactly this doesn't happen? Like, especially like when you're not concentrating the day, like I would wear them then. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. with a small smile, I decide it won't hurt if I finish up a little earlier today. The store has been usually, uh, unusually quiet and I've been finding it difficult to concentrate on, right on my tasks. I had thrown myself into work, determined not to think any more about uh, Grey Jansen and his rather particular interests. But as the day dragged on, I had found myself getting more and more distracted by the thought of him. Um. Anyway, but like, I mean, did you fall asleep on his lap, actually on the couch? Like, did you spend all night like this? Or like... Was he there when you woke up? Like, I, there are so many questions I have. I was glad to have him uh, here last night, after someone had been hanging around the alley. It made me feel safe, knowing I wasn't alone. Oh, okay, he was gone when I woke up this morning, and I was both displeased, wait, disappointed and relieved. On the one hand, I didn't have to endure the awkwardness after our late night conversation, or finding out I drooled over his lap. But on the other hand, I was kind of looking forward to seeing that what kind of person Ray is first thing in the morning. The bad hair alone would surely be worth it. So he went home to freshen up, huh? After putting my work away, I head back out to the shop to uh, lock up, freezing when I see a familiar blonde staring, uh, standing near the counter. Oh, Ray, I say in surprise, a small smi a smile appearing on my face. I had just been thinking about him, well, I've been thinking about him all day, really, but that doesn't make his presence any less surprising. Or especially in the front door, right? What are you doing here? I ask. It's not one of his usual game nights. Mm. I just wanted to stop by and make sure everything around here, uh, everything was okay around here. After that happened last night. With a small nod, I begin putting away the items on the counter, trying to calm my nerves, though the feeling of his eyes on me makes my skin warm. Yeah, everything's fine. I haven't had any tr uh, any trouble today, I say casually, grabbing the keys from the front door. Hmm. I'm glad to hear it. I fidget with the keys in my hand, giving him a quick once-over before I speak again. So, where did you run off to in such a hurry this morning? He shrugs a little and crosses his arms over his chest. Oh. oh, I had some things to take care of. He says vaguely. At seven in the morning? <laughs> yes, at seven in the morning, he chuckles, and then gives me a softer look. Uh. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you woke up. I wanted to be. He hesitates, as though there's something more he wants to say. I suddenly get the impression that there may be another reason he's here. Before either of us can talk, uh, can speak, uh, the, bell rang, the bell above the door rings, drawing our attention, and Sarah enters the store. Jed, what is going on here? Jed follows behind her, so... D Wait, did he actually call up my friend and his best friend, like the only people that he trusts for my safety? And now he's gonna, like, patrol my house, like that someone's always here with me. No way, right? 
No way. Because, like, that would be, like, one reason why he would have left, right? Anyway, <clears throat> Jed follows behind her, and he will definitely be happy to see Sarah, that Jed. Um, so tall, I constantly wonder if he's going to hit his head on the top of the door frame. Hmm. Hey, you two! Sarah greets us, and I don't miss the amusement in her voice as her eyes dance between Grey and I. Hmm. Fancy seeing you here, Grey, she adds with a wink. Huh. Well, I guess this is the place to be today. Okay, so it's not as planned. Grey grins between her and Jed, and I suddenly feel like I'm missing out on something. Wait, did he call Jed to call Sarah or something? Hmm. <laughs> um, we're heading out to the fun fair in the evening. You two should come. Wait, this is a double date. Okay, never mind. I was completely wrong, but this might be a double date then. Sarah says, giving me the kind of knowing smile that I wish she wouldn't. Huh. I'd love to go. I haven't seen the fun fair in years. Gray speaks before I have the chance to, and all th uh, three of uh, sets of eyes fall on me. The fun fair is something that Sarah and I attended every year together. Um, but being maybe, mm, but between my work, making the costumes for Nikki, and being distracted by a certain blonde, I had forget forgotten all about it. I mean, I guess I'll go. Why not, right? Sure, I go, I say with a shrug, but my smile soon turns into a frown. But it's usu uh, usually just the two of us. You don't want to keep up with the tradition, I ask Sarah. Hmm. Yeah, it might be nice to have some company, don't you think? Sarah gives me a meaningful look, and I glance over at the guys. Alright, I can take the hint. Yeah, of course I would. I covered the remark with a smile. Sarah claps her hand in approval and grins up at Jed, and it seems intu my intuition was right. So she just wants to go with, yeah. Uh, Sarah definitely is go uh, going. Mm. Sarah definitely is doing this in order to hang out with a certain black-haired individual. I'm sure of it. So that's why she set me up with Gray, with Gray so that it's not as awkward. Also, she saw she saw how saw us. Wow, she saw how I uh, and Gray look at each other, right? Once the sun sets, I grab my jacket and phone, and the four of us head out into the street. The fun fair isn't far, just a quick walk into, uh, further into town. While Gray and Jed take the lead, walking ahead of us, I hang back with Sarah. So, are you going to keep denying that you have a thing for Jed? I lean into her, earning a scoff in response. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, she says with a dismissive shake of her head. I snort loudly, I'm not buying it. I snort loudly, I'm not buying it. Anyone with eyes can see that there's something going on, and I happen to have two of them. Sarah? I press, and though she purses her lips defiantly, she eventually cracks. She stares after Jed, lowering her voice as not to be overheard. <sighs> Fine. So, I like him. I really like him. She whispers to me, and I can barely smother my triumphant grin. I thought he was a mountain man, I say bluntly, looking at her when she sighs. Ah! Oh. I was wrong, she admits quietly. Hmm. He's actually really smart and surprisingly gentle. She adds, a small wink, a, smile, uh, a small but wicked smile curling her lips. I grab at her. I can't help it. Sarah actually admitting she was wrong is equivalent to uh, to seeing pigs fly. I never thought I would see the day. Mm. We see it the deer last night, she gloats, right after he asked me to be his girlfriend. What? Really? I shriek. When I notice we've drawn the attention of the guys, I lower my voice. <laughs> I didn't know ever. I didn't even know the things were getting that serious between the two of you. Ah. <sighs> It all moved pretty fast. I didn't even whisper. Uh, hmm. whip, sorry, wh whisper. How do I? <laughs> Sarah whips her head towards the guys behind us. The guys. Be what? The guys behind us. Wait. Why are we in front of them now? I thought they were in front of us. I'm confused. We're coming. Just wait for us up ahead. 
She calls out us to Jed and Gray, who have slowed down since noticing us falling behind. Oh, okay. With a shrug, they continue on down the street. Does he know? I mean, about who you are? And all the stuff with the gang? Uh. No, not yet. She shakes her head. What about Gray? I sigh, and she has my answer. Hmm. The two of you seem pretty. Uh, seem to be getting close. Sarah muses. I give her a look that says I'd rather not talk about it, and she shrugs. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry. I was pushing you about telling him before. I know now that it's not as easy as it sounds. She says. First, um, still though. I mean, it's, nobody says it's easy, but you still have to do it, and like really fast. Uh, by the thing, by. by judging how things are moving. First you admit you were wrong about Jed and now you're apologizing to me? I tease. Who are you and what have you done with my best friend? <sighs> I'm being serious, he nudges me, and I don't miss the smile that sneaks up onto her lips. I grin to myself, happy that she's finally found someone she likes so much. After all the terrible dates and failed, rela failed relationships she had in the past, she deserves someone like Jed. I like Jed. He seems like a good guy, I say softly, smiling at the way she watches him. Hmm. Yeah, he is. We walk in a comfortable silence until we reach the end of the road, the sound of music and people getting louder with, e with each step. When we turn the next door and corner, we find the fun fair set up down the street and in full swing. Wow! The fair never felt, fails to brighten my mood, filling me with a feeling of nostalgia. The bright lights, the music, the scent of, flu of food drifting through the air. And then, of course, the laughter and screams of the people enjoying the rides. Even from here, I can spot them all. The roller coaster, ferris wheel, pirate ship. Ah. Uh. Come on, girls, hurry up! We hear Jed's voice from afar. Let's go on the bumper cars. Jed waves us over, as though we'd never, we'd never even lose sight of two guys who wait. <laughs> as though we'd ever lose sight of the two guys who tower over the majority of the crowd. So Gray is also tall, of course he is. And we head over to join them. Sarah runs off ahead, gripping Jed by the arm and leaving me with Gray. <laughs> You read, <coughs> you're ready to kick, kick some ass on the bumper cars? He asks, chuckling as the other two excitedly find a place in line. Well, it just so happens the bumper cars are my favorite, I say with a grin. Gray raises an inquisitive uh, eyebrow and gestures to the line for the ride. Mm. In that case, after you. We head over to wait in the line with Jed and Sarah, and I quietly laugh at the way they whisper and smile at each other. They make a good-looking couple. Ha. Huh. It feels weird to be stuck with all the teenagers. Jed turns to grin at us. Mm hmm? Uh, when did we get so old, huh? I glance up down the line and find that we really are the only adults fighting for the ride. Huh. Speak for yourself, mate. Gray teases him back, earning a playful punch in the arm. When we were younger, the bumper cars were the coolest place to hang out at the fair. I explained to, uh, to the boys as the memories hit me. We spent a lot of time here. It always was so much fun. <laughs> Sarah lets out a snort of laughter. Mm. Yeah, all the boys would hang out tr around trying to ride with the girl they liked and just trying to impress her in their cars. She gives me a mischievous smile. <laughs> if I remember correctly, you always had a flock of them trying to catch your eye, didn't you, Ari? Oh. I'm not surprised, Gray says with a smile, a uh, small nudge before I can say anything. Mm. If that's how it is, I'll give it my best shot at impressing you. He adds, qui he adds quiet to this time. I, turn a smi uh, I return a smile and run a finger down his chest to stop that thought in his tracks. Oh, you really think I'm going to let you try? I, I tease him. <laughs> he has a loud... Uh, Wait, he has a laugh and raises his eyebrows at me. Huh. I guess I was wrong. So wrong. I mean, you're having fun, that's cute. It doesn't take much longer to, for the bumper cars to come up, come to a stop and win the next group of people to be there too. Wow, that was fast. 
Ray laps me ahead of him and I slip into the driver's seat while he gets in beside me. He clicks his seatbelt, they have seatbelts? into place before giving me a look. Uh. Please don't get me killed. <laughs> With a smirk, I take the wheel in both hands, feel for the pedals beneath my feet. Hold on tight! When the alarm buzzes to signal the ride has started, I push my, foo my foot down the accelerator. The car lurches forward and Ray braces ahead against the front of the car to stop himself from flying forward. I thought he had the seatbelt. <laughs> Whoa, easy now. My attention is elsewhere. My sights are set on one thing. I search the are arena for my targets as I make a lap, finally spotting the familiar heads of Sarah and Jed on the other side. <laughs> Spinning the wheel, the car spins in the other direction and I put my foot on the gas. My eyes fix <laughs> on the pair. Okay, I like bumper cars too. But judging from reality, I have no idea where this place, in which country, but judging from mine, these cars are not that fast. Alright? <laughs> this sounds way too exciting for what the real deal is. <laughs> but whatever. Jet's eyes widen in terror as we approach, but Sarah only smirks and clutches the wheel, ready to meet us head on. This is a yearly tradition for us and has been since we were, tre w since we were teenagers. I put my foot down and the car goes faster, <laughs> narrowly avoiding the other giggling couples as I head for our target. We slam into the, car, uh, the, other, the other car with full force, sending it spinning until it wedges in between two opposi opposing cars. Jared shrieks while I bump my fist in the air, victorious. After that we team up and take on the other drivers, our laughter echoing through the arena while both Grey and Jed cower in the passenger seats. Oh come on! When the ride finally comes to an end, Sarah and I link arms and head for the exit, my stomach aching with laughter. Ugh. I blame you. Grey points a finger at Jed, who looks like he's about to be sick. Oh come on! Oh wait, you said that! Oh come on, it wasn't that bad! I giggle and, try and take Grey by the arm, completely forgetting the awkwardness I had about last night. We spend some time on the booths next, shooting targets and tossing rings over plastic clowns. So, I mean, something has to happen tonight, right? Like, maybe we see Nikki. I'm just thinking about it. Like, at some point, Nikki has to see me with Grey. This would be another good opportunity, I guess. <coughs> Um, shooting targets and tossing rings over plastic clowns. Jet wins an enormous teddy bear for Sarah, of course it does. Uh, one that's almost as big as her. While they continue playing games and winning prizes, I glance around the fair looking for something else to do. Hey look! Let's go to the ferris wheel. I pull on Grace's arm, still high on adrenaline from the pirates. Uh. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. He starts to say, but lets me pull him along regardless. Wait, is he afraid of heights? It will be fun, I declare. <coughs> we pay the ticket a prize for the Ferris wheel and head up onto the platform, waiting for the next car to come down. Seeing Sarah, uh, knowing, seeing Sarah's knowing look, we don't all sit together. Instead, we break up into two groups. Gray seems a bit apprehensive when our car comes down after Sarah has already shoved Jed inside the previous one. I happily take a seat and watch as Grey climbs inside as well. It starts to move almost immediately and I look out over the street, seeing the rides, vendors and hundreds of people enjoying them all. It's almost a full minute before I realize that Grey is silent, barely moving at all. Oh, he's scared. I mean, they can be really wiggly. I understand. Are you okay? I ask, ducking a glimpse of... Wait. Ducking to catch a glimpse on his face. Of his face. Um. It's just that I, um, I'm not so good with heights. You can attempt to scale my two story building, but a ferris wheel is too much? I asked in disbelief. Two different things. <laughs> Grey attempts a small smile. Hmm. To be fair, this goes a lot higher than two stories. I feel horrible. I was so excited about getting on the ride that I hadn't even given him a chance to say anything. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Hmm. It's okay. It's fine. He takes in a breath, putting on a brave smile. Just distract me so I don't think about it. Um, okay. 
take his hand. Yes, take his hand. That's cute. I reach out and take his hand, holding it tight. He squeezes my fingers, his warmth seeping into my skin. How's this? I ask, ignoring the butterflies in my stomach. Mm. Better. Definitely better. The wind whips my hair around my shoulders and Ray reaches up to brush a few strands away from my face, which is completely useless since the way the wind doesn't stop just because you did that, but okay. Mm. You look rather pretty up here. Under these lights. A shiver runs through me, one I can't be sure is caused by his touch or the cold wind. You look pretty go uh, good up here too. It's a beautiful night, and as our seat on the ferret wheel gets to the top, it stops, giving us an amazing view. So, did you know about Sarah and Jed? I ask Ray, looking at the card next to ours. Mm. Not until tonight. He's pretty private about things like that. When he sees me frown, I give him a small nudge. Huh? Does it bother you? No, not at all, I say and then pause. I just don't want her to get hurt. She tends to jump into things without thinking them through. Uh. I can tell you I can tell you now that Jet thinks over every single little detail before deciding to do anything like this. I think Sarah will be good for him. I turn and give him a little smile. You're not going to miss having him all to yourself. Hmm. To be honest, I think I've spent more time with you than him these past couple of weeks. He says, leaning his shoulders against mine. And I'm not complaining. A little buzz goes through me at, at the contact, but the feeling of doubt soon drifts over to scatter, to scatter all of that. What if... I start to speak and then pause, wondering if the question is a good idea. Deciding to go for it, I let out a sigh and start again. What if there was something that she hadn't told him? Something important that might change the way he thinks about her? Gray, f uh, forms a little s uh, mm. Gray frowns a little, but doesn't seem to think too far into it. Still, I think it, it is. Uh, still, I find it difficult to meet his eyes. <sighs> I think that as long as she's honest with him, he'll be able to overlook it, he says softly, holding my gaze. He really cares about her. He looks at me in a way that leaves me unsure as to who exactly he's talking about. My hands start to sweat and I wonder if he notices the way we're uh, they're shaking. I hesitate for a long while, the words sitting on the tip of my tongue and refusing to leave. I'm the reason you were arrested that night. It's my fault you were expelled from school. My fault your entire future was ru ruined. Hmm. We're going back down, Gray mumbles, interrupting my thoughts. I let out a, sm a small sigh of relief. Oh, good. He takes my hand to help me off the ride when we come to a stop, and I can't bring myself to let him go. The night has been so much fun, I don't see any harm in letting it last a little longer. Yeah, but you have to tell him! <sighs> Oh, also oh. bratwurst. I saw that. There's bratwurst. That's bratwurst. <laughs> Why am I saying it in English when I can say it in German? Uh, we definitely need to go on a roller coaster next. Cla Great declares, tilting his chin towards the right foot down. A chill runs through me at the very idea of it. I can hear the screams from here. He starts heading towards the right, but I refuse to follow, <laughs> letting our hands break apart as I firmly plant my feet on the spot. Oh no, no, that's n I'm not, no, d wait, that's one that I'm not going on. I say stubbornly, crossing my arms over my chest for good measure. Hmm. Hey, if I went on the Ferris wheel, then you can do the roller coaster. Gren, uh, Gren? Grey coaxes me, his eyes bright. Hmm. You have to trust me. I thought you were scared of heights. <laughs> Grey chuckles. It's a roller coaster. It sits on rails. It's different from being stuck in a suspended cart. He holds uh, his hand out uh, to me and I eye it merrily. The last time I went on a roller coaster I was 10 years old and after I got off I was sick to my stomach, throwing up my hot dog and cutting ca uh, candy dinner in the nearest trash can. I really don't want to repeat that, especially not in front of Grey. But the way he's looking at me, so determined, makes me want to take his hand. 
Finally, my shoulder slumped in the feet and I let out a huff of air. All right, I say, slipping my hand into his palm and letting him lead me towards the line before the ride. To my absolute horror, we end up in the front seat of the first car and I can't stop myself from shooting Blair, Gray a withering bear. <laughs> You'll be fine, he says with a laugh. We secure ourselves in place and my hand sha uh, my hand's shaking like crazy as I grip the sides of my seat and close my eyes tight. <sighs> Open your eyes, Ari. I shake my head fer <laughs> fer Wait. fer fer Fervently. Okay, didn't know that word. Teeth clenched tight. <laughs> you don't you don't trust me. He laughs and I crack open my eyes just to glare at him. <clears throat> I really hate you right now, I say, but the eyebrows he raises uh, has me uh, laughing at myself before long. I gasp a little when the cars begin to roll, my heart thumping like a hammer in my chest. Up, up, we, up, up, up we go. The slow ascent only adding to my nerves. <sighs> Here we go, Gray says excitedly as we reach the top. And now I know it's too late. There's no going back from here. There's another rubble, rumble and the shriek of metal. Wait. There's another rumble, the shriek of metal, and then the roller coaster launches forward, sending us dropping straight down before we go up once more and through a double loop. My hair is whipping around my face like crazy, and I'm pretty sure I'm screaming, though I can't hear anything above the screech of the roller coaster. We go up once more. They shouldn't screech like that, right? We go up once more, then through a uh, corks corkscrew mm, cork before finally making it to the end. The car is slowly coming to a stop beside the platform. I sit there for a moment, stunned, until Gray nudges me and helps me out of the car. When we finally make it off the ride, I take in a deep breath. <coughs> Wasn't so bad, huh? My throat is hoarse from screaming, my legs are, legs are jelly, and my face is streaming with tears from the wind. Really? <laughs> but I can't stop the smile that breaks across my face. That was so much fun. <laughs> looks like you've... <coughs> looks like someone enjoyed themselves. So, uh, Gray chuckles as he comes up beside me and puts up an arm around my shoulders, leaning in close enough to whisper in my ear. Uh -huh. Let's see what happens when you trust me. The warmth in his breath skitters around across my skin and my stomach lurches for another reason entirely. You're walking in contradiction, you know that? I, cruise I accuse him as we walk away from the ride. You hate needles but have piercings. You don't like heights but a roller coaster, coaster is a walk in the park. Mm. Everyone has fears, don't they? He grins at me, removing his arm to rub his hands together, warding off the cold. I suppose they do, I say wistfully. Hmm. I still haven't figured out yours, he adds, giving me a look that suggests he hopes I might spill my fear here now. Oh, I can't tell you that I'm afraid of what you're finding out the truth! <laughs> I force a smile, brushing the scent off as I wa uh, sentence off as I walk uh, ahead. The thing I fear most right now is the only thing I can't tell him. My fear is him finding out who I really am and me losing everything. Walking past the fl uh, food stalls, my stomach grumbling all over the delicious smells, I stop suddenly. A group of people are heading towards us. A group of people who look oddly familiar. Yes! And then it clicks. Every single one of them is a member of my old academy gang. Oh no. I say before I can stop myself, looking around wildly for somewhere to hide. Uh. Is everything okay? Gray asks as he comes up beside me. Yeah, there's just someone I don't want to see. I try to explain, panic rising in my chest. Hmm. Let's go this way. Taking me by the hand, Gray pulls me behind a row of booths, separating us from Sarah and Jed. It's dark back here, and I hope we're hidden away enough. I lean back against the wall of the booth, Letting out a long breath. That was way too close. Huh? I mean, they were wait. They were coming towards you, though, right? Like, didn't they see you go away? <laughs> Who was it? Ray asks. His arm, his warm breath filling the space between us. Yeah, he's worried. A client of mine, I say. The like completely easy, coming easy. Once she gets started, she just doesn't stop talking, and I don't want to ruin our night. He shakes his head and grins. 
As though all of that worrying was for something so significant, insignificant. If only he knew the truth. Hmm. And she's probably gone by now. He peeks around the side of the booth, but I put my hands on his arm before he can leave. I can't afford to take any chances. Gray, I say quietly. Uh. Yeah. Did you have fun tonight? A smile breaks across his face, and I don't stop him when he leans closer, positioning a hand against the wall beside my head. Hmm. It just so happens that I did. And I know you did too. His lips quirk to the side. Uh -huh. You see what happens when you trust me. The smile fades a little. Is that the exact line again? Okay. So he's really trying to convince me to con do to confess everything to him. The smile fades a little when he pulls back. His eyebrows knitting together as he looks at me. Uh. You do trust me, don't you? I force a smile, trying to make light of a dangerous situation. Of course. Still, he has that strange look on his face. Hmm. So, if there was something you thought I should know, you'd tell me. Oh, he knows that I'm that girl from back then. And he's very, like, he know he's very sure that I am a gang member, or I was. So he's like, when are you gonna tell me? Come on. I... What the hell is he talking about? I... Well... <coughs> Oh, that was a lifesaver. I mean, I don't like it, you should just confess, but okay. <laughs> my phone starts buzzing in my pocket. I fumble as I try to pull it out, almost dropping it to the ground in the process. When I answer, Sarah's voice drifts through the, uh, through the receiver. Mm hmm? Hey, where are you guys? Uh, we're just walking around getting some air. I say, ducking under Gray's arm and taking a few steps away. Mm -hmm. Jen and I are gonna leave. Will you be okay? Yeah, it's fine. It's not far. It's not far to walk. Mm -hmm. Great. Have a good night. I pocket my phone and turn back to Gray. We should get going. I have to finish work on the costume tomorrow. Hmm. He dips his head, stepping toward me. I'll walk you home. Oh, you don't have to. I start to protest, though he's already started walking. Uh. I insist. We leave the fun fair together, each one of us oddly quiet on the walk back home, both lost in our thoughts. As we approach the boutique, I break the silence, standing just outside the door to my building. Hey, can I ask you a favor? Gray nods, his stormy eyes oddly bright as they shine beneath the street lamps. I have to drop the costumes off at, ac at the academy on Monday afternoon, but they're quite heavy. Would you maybe mind helping me move them? To the academy? What are you doing, girl? You just evaded him. Oh my god, okay. He smiles, but it's different from before. I can't quite put my finger on what's going, what's so wrong with uh, about it. Uh. I'd be happy to, he says softly. He leans in and kisses me on the cheek before stepping back, shoving his hands in his pockets once more. Uh. Sweet dreams, Ari. I watch as he turns and walks back down the street, heading for home, stunned by, uh, at his actions. What? That was a weird sentence. What did I just... whatever. Well, that's the end of the chapter and she still didn't confess to him. I'm just like, come on! <laughs> we will find out if she confesses to him next chapter, in the next chapter, in the next episode. So, stay tuned. Bye.